Okay, so as you can see, these are like super gross and crusty. We've tried like buffing them and stuff, but I think it's just like at the point where they need new ones. So while ever I'm replacing the lenses, I'm actually going to take the bottom portion of the headlight and make it super sparkly. So this was actually something that we saw on, there's a car right there and they're gonna think I'm a crazy person. So I'm gonna wait a second. Okay, they left. So um, I've seen like some VIP cars do this before and it looks really cool, but I mean, this obviously isn't a VIP car. So it's either gonna look really cool or it's gonna look really stupid. So I guess if it looks bad, I can just take them off. But I actually already did one on the other side already because I just wasn't sure how hard it was going to be or how long it was going to take. So I kind of have an idea now, but I'm obviously not going to show you until the end of the video. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I went ahead and disassembled the headlight. So we have everything taken apart and we have this guy right here that came out of this bottom part. And taking the headlight out was actually absolutely horrible. If you guys want to figure out how to do that, there's a bunch of other videos on taking these out. I just, yeah, I don't want to show you guys because honestly, it was not a fun process. So now we have this guy out and this is what we really want so that we can add little sparkles in there. Okay, so these are the gems that I decided to get. Um, I just bought them on Amazon. I would definitely recommend buying at least, definitely one for each headlight, but I would definitely get like a third one just in case. So they're not sticky and they have like this plastic thing on the back of them, but um, so pretty much I'm going to take these and this. And so like these are all pretty much just going to like lay in there yeah these are the ones that i got and i know there's a lot of other options on amazon but there's like other ones that are like already sticky on the back and i don't know there's just a bunch of different options that you can choose between but i like these ones just because they come in like such a big sheet so i don't know if somebody else tries a different type and they work better than this i would love to know Okay, so now that this is out and everything's ready, I would highly recommend just like spraying down the inside of this, like wherever you want to put the gems with like alcohol, just so that they stick better. So this is the glue that I bought. It's like uh, Gorilla Super Glue. So hopefully I don't get it on myself, but using this, it should obviously like stick and not come back up hopefully i think gorilla glue is about as intense as it gets so so before i actually like add the glue and like stick this down i think it'd be a lot easier if i like hold this up and see how much i actually need so then you can see like it doesn't totally go all the way up into the corners so some of this extra I'll end up cutting and like sticking up there. I'll probably just cut it like around this area so that I can use the extra. So I'm just gonna take to my scissors. And the good thing is I have an extra one of these. I bought just in case. So it's kind of hard to do this by yourself, but we're doing it try not to cut my leg and this stuff also smells like really bad for some reason I'm not sure why okay so that looks pretty good okay now that it's like cut and everything I think I'm gonna glue it on in like sections so I think I'm gonna start with like this big flat area right here so I'm pretty much just gonna take my glue just add some put some up there too and then I have like an old piece I'm just gonna make sure it's like evenly on there 
so it doesn't lift anywhere. And again, this stuff is insanely sticky, so definitely try not to get it on your hands because it probably won't come off. There we go, that's like already stuck to my hand. Ah, we have the glue on, so now I'm going to take this and very carefully press it and hold it. And it's weird because if you get the glue on your hands, it literally will stick right away. But like this stuff, you really have to like, like press and like hold it on there for it to stick so now we pretty much just wait for this to dry yeah it does not want to stick okay so i glued this whole section down and it's finally dry i would give it like i don't know a few minutes just because sometimes it still likes to lift but that's good so i'm pretty much just gonna like section by section uh, like in the areas where it like curves I'm just gonna do those piece by piece um, and then it gets a little bit more tricky whenever you have to get up into like the corners and I know I already know like this part is not gonna be fun cuz it's just weird like it's sometimes just this doesn't really want to stick that well even like using Gorilla Glue so slowly but surely okay so I have the majority of it glued down now I really just have like this top part and then this side over here that I still need to glue. But you see I have like all this excess like on the sides. So I'm just going to cut this down with some scissors and then I'm going to take a razor blade and like get really close to the edge just to make sure that it's like as smooth as possible because you're going to be able to see the edges like through the head blade. So you want to make sure that they look nice and super even. Okay, so now kind of like fold the edge down a little bit. That kind of helps define like that line of where you're gonna have to cut. I don't want to get like too close, but okay. See, it's actually kind of hard to cut, so. Now I'm going to take a razor blade and also excuse my nails, they look disgusting. Pretty much I'm just going to take this and wherever I can feel the edge, I'm just going to cut and I'm just going to tell you from doing the other one already, there's got to be an easier way to do this because this is like the most tedious part of the entire thing is trimming like the extra off the sides because not only is it hard just because it's in like these rows so you can't really cut through the crystals but it's also like glued down so there's just so much stuff that you're having to cut through like for the other headlight I'm pretty sure I went through like at least like 15 razor blades so I'm definitely not going to record all of this because I awkwardly have the camera just dangling around my neck right now. Okay, so I totally ended up just finishing them without recording just because it was getting like super hard to hold the camera and glue those and cut them and do all of that stuff like while recording. So yeah, I felt like I had pretty much like shown everything that was important anyways. So um, the only thing I didn't show was getting up in the corners. And the only thing I would say about that is just like make sure that you keep the crystals like in a straight line just because like it might look a little bit messy if they're kind of just like all over the place so um it wasn't really that bad but I mean like I said I pretty much showed like step by step how to do those I just didn't show me finishing them and like reassembling the headlights which isn't really that important but I will go ahead and show what they look like I'm honestly like obsessed with them. I was pretty worried that they were gonna turn out like tacky or just like not looking right, but I'm like honestly in love with them. 
like at night whenever I have my headlights on they look so cool too because it's just like all sparkly in there but yeah I'm like super super happy with how this turned out I guess the only other thing was if anyone else does this to their car um I would love to see what it looks like not every car has like headlight bases as big as the E46 but I'm sure there's still like plenty of cars that you know have the space to do this so yeah if anyone tries this and it looks cool or like if they try a way that works better than the way I did it please let me know because I would love to see but yeah that's pretty much it thanks